ODM Party's recruitment drive in Nairobi saw the Azimio coalition make a return to Kamukunji grounds since last year's demo on the cost of living. Odinga, who arrived to a sounding reception at the grounds, turned the heat on the judiciary, dismissing High Court's last week's proclamation that the appointed IABC selection panel ought to continue with its recruitment process. <laughs> Anasema ati ile 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 kamati ya mbele huko ya kuteua wale wanachama wa IBC ataendelea kufanya kazi yake. Nasema hiyo ni upuzi. Ni upuzi. Ile kamati yaweze kufanya kazi maana ilikuwa tayari imevunjwa na bunge. Odinga reiterating that the selection panel will not proceed until the National Dialogue Committee report submitted before the National Assembly end of last year is adopted. Sasa hii report ya Okinawandai na Kalonzo ukienda mbele ya bunge ipitishwe ndio tutaanza mambo ya IEBC. Last week the High Court declared that a political process does not supersede the law, thus giving the go-ahead for the selection process that had been uncertain pending the outcome of the National Dialogue Committee proceedings and report. The Azimio Supremo's onslaught on the judiciary escalated on Sunday as he continued poking holes on the meeting between the CJ and the executive after Kome demanded funding for hiring of more judges. <laughs> Unafanya apombi kwa bunge sio kwa state house hiyo ni makosa kubwa sana sisi sawa tumelewana vizuri kwa hivyo sisi tunasema tuna tuko macho nataka nyinyi muwe macho Otangula who was also part of the meeting that took place at state house Nairobi was termed as a person not fit to be at the leadership of the national assembly owing to his appeal lodged at the supreme court Bwana speaker katika ulimwengu mzima hana uwezo tena kwenda mahakamani. Anaenda kama nani? Anaenda kama nani? Bwana wetangula hafai kwa speaker ya bunge ya Kenya. Shenzi sana. Huyu huyu mheshimiwa William Ruto anaposema kwamba tujenge nyumba za affordable house. Kule kisi ile shamba ambayo tumeweka kando kwa hiyo affordable house wameanza kujenga kwa wizi ambao wako nao wamefanya public participation kupitia ile kamati ya nyumba ya bunge wananchi wamekataa hiyo sheria sasa mimi nasikia kwamba wataileta kule bunge walazimishe ipite kule bunge na ili hali wananchi wamekataa his allies called out the government over his response to the embakasi fire tragedy Deputy Gadiga Shagwa facing the wrath of unfulfilled promises to the fire victims. Rigadi alienda huko tena. Akaambia wananchi wa Embakasi Mashariki ya kwamba atachukua tu saa moja peke yake na watu ambao walichomekewa watapewa pesa. Almeleta ajaleta. Saa zile kuna vifo Nairobi. Gavana wa Nairobi anajivinjari kule South Africa. Sazile watu wanaumia hapa Nairobi. Gavana wa Nairobi ako kule South Africa anakula ana, ana, anacheza kwasa kwasa. Minority leader in the National Assembly Opia Wandai on his part took issues with the government's latest strategy to move fees payment for national schools to e-citizen, terming it is another ploy for proliferation of public funds. Kuna hii mnyama anaitwa e-citizen. E-citizen imetumiwa na watu wa serikali wa Ruto kupora mali nyingi fedha nyingi za umma. Ili hali sahi ati Ruto na waziri wake anatoa amri ati kuanzia tamu la ujao ati karo za shule zilipwe kupitia e-citizen. Hiyo ni njia moja, hii ni njia moja ya kupora mali ya wananchi. Papa ametembea nchi yote na amekucha kuweka climax hapa Nairobi kuonyesha heshima ambayo sisi watu wa Nairobi tuko nayo na lazima tuchipange tukomboe nchi yetu kutoka kwa minyororo ya wale wanatusumbua saa hii wakapi wako tayari kuomboa nchi the cost of living further remains a contentious issue 
despite the opposition asserting that they are content that a huge part of the report addressed their concerns. Bado tunawadai mambo ya gharama ya maisha. Gharama ya maisha bado tunawadai. Tuliwaambia tulienda kwa barabara kwa sababu mambo mnne sio. Tuliwaambia barabara bado iko. Si barabara bado iko. Na mko tayari. Mtu akisimama akuambie baada ya miezi tatu tutakuwa tunanunua gas na shilingi tatu. Alafu asifanye huyo mtu unamuita nini? Akisema atatengeneza serikali ya mama mboga na watu wa boda boda na vijana wa chini, alafu aende kutagua wadosi ndani ya serikali yake. Tunaita huyo mtu nani? Si ni muongo, mtampa sifa zote. Lakini sifa moja ya lazima mumpatie Raila Molo Odinga ni kuwa ni msema ukweli. Martin Opio K24 TV Nairobi. Vijana mnataka nani? Baba. Na wazee mnataka